Hi there! Are you a control freak? Or, let's say, a control enthusiast like myself? If so, I bet you'll enjoy this video. Even though M-Files is a tool for sharing and collaborating, there's usually some information we don't want or can't share with all. For that, we need permission settings. Firstly, we can define who can see and create new objects. I can, for example, create new documents, but also new projects and customers. That's because I have sort of superpowers within this M-Files vault. We could also say that only project managers are allowed to create new projects. In that case, this option would be visible only for them. Secondly, we can limit who can create what types of documents. Usually, HR team is responsible for saving the job applications to M-Files, so we might want to hide this option from the others. Furthermore, we can also control the common views that are visible for users in the browse window. In some cases, it makes sense to hide some of the views to make the list a little shorter. As you see, with permissions, it's not always all about granting access. It's also about guiding the user and making things easier by hiding the unnecessary things. If you click on the lock icon on the metadata card, you can always see who has access to this document or an object and what kind of access that is. We can set other types of permissions as well, and those are often managed automatically. That is, we let mFiles take care of managing the access based on the information we as users select on the metadata card. Permissions are often based on a class, document type, or similar property value. You'll know mFiles is in control when a yellow bubble appears on the metadata card. Sometimes, the permissions are based on the life cycle of an object. When we send the agreement for approval, we can limit the access to the approver and creator only. And when the document gets approved, we can widen the access so that mFile sets read access to the correct people. No matter how the automatic permissions are set, all you need to remember is the lock icon where you're able to check the final settings to make sure they're set correctly. Happy to be in control, right? Now you have my permission to have a closer look at your permissions. And I'll see you in the next video.